Well, I want to welcome you to what is a hybrid demo? Tonight we're talking about hybrid and video demos with uh, with Mike Hathcote. And just by to set up the introduction to Mike, first of all, I just want to let you know that you may have heard me ter use the term DIY, do-it-yourself demo, a number of times. And and um, this is really a continuation of that thought. DIY demo came into play really in the last few years as more as more freelance platforms have opened up, really opened up, opening up more opportunities for entry-level voiceover, which is why we promote the idea of you putting together something yourself so you can, you can begin to make money before, you're, you know, before you start to spend money. But there's a gap between DIY and fully produced demo, which is where Mike Hathcote, who is really, I'll call him a faculty member of the voiceover blueprint because Mike has a very integral part in that, in that uh, ecosystem of training where he does training and support for folks uh, and Mike is also, he's extremely knowledgeable when it comes to social media marketing, websites, hybrid demos, video demos. And Mike, without further ado, I'm going to let you take it away and tell us all about it. Well, thank you, Bill. And uh, welcome, everybody. And yeah, so like Bill said, there is kind of a gap between, you know, a straight do-it-yourself demo, which is all you. And then there's the pro demo, which is you know, it's you, but it's the the producer does all the heavy lifting, right? They, you know, they send you the scripts and you do the the um, directed session, but then you turn everything over to them, and then it's up to them, the producer, to to make it pretty, right? Put all the music and sound effects and make it really sound like a real uh, demo, a real commercial or whatever type of demo you're trying to do. And so, you know, a lot of people, at least at the beginning don't have the money to do that right because those can be you know a little on the higher side especially when you're first starting i mean you know you're probably looking at 2500 bucks and up to do a a um a professionally produced demo with a, a demo producer so there is kind of a there is a, a gap there and what i have kind of come up with is this hybrid demo concept and the reason why we call it a hybrid demo is because it's kind of the best of both worlds. What we do is we first find you some scripts by going onto YouTube and actually finding, and I call them personalized scripts because what I like to do is, you know, in the initial planning stages of the demo, we find, you know, products and services that you are actually into because I want you to have a, a connection to the copy, right? If you drive a honda accord maybe let's look at some honda commercials if you like to eat macaroni and cheese let's find some macaroni and cheese commercials whatever it is that you are into so that you actually have a connection to the copy that we're recording so uh that's what we do first then we have a couple of sessions where we practice those commercials we're not trying to mimic the exact performance of those commercials because really we just need the words and one of the main reasons why we use YouTube commercials is because we know that those scripts have actually made it out you know, to air. So they've been written by professional copywriters and we know that they're good scripts. There are some places out there where you can find some, eh, some questionable scripts that you know, we try to avoid by using real scripts. Then we have a couple of practice sessions where we're trying to you know, make sure that you get a good authentic read, whatever style it is. And there are several styles we choose from uh, and those styles are, you know, a couple of guy next door or girl next door, you know, conversational reads, maybe some warm, sincere style reads, high energy. Maybe if you're a male, more of a, a gravelly kind of rugged sound. And maybe if you're a female, more of a luxurious type read. And after those two sessions, we do have a recording session where I am directing you through a Zoom call. Uh, you're recording in your booth. And the last of the five sessions is where we actually pick what I call the snippets, which are the little pieces of each script or each recording that we're going to be putting in the demo and then figuring out the right order that they need to be in. The order is, as Bill will attest to this since he's a demo producer, the order is kind of a, an art and a science all together right you got to make sure that you grab them the listener i mean and you hold them you know so you don't want to have too many of the same style you know close to each other so you know you want to keep them guessing and then at the end of that five sessions you've got a demo 
uh, that sounds, looks, feels, smells just like a real professional demo. And um, it's great. It, you know, and you can then go on to use it for direct marketing or the platforms, you know, anywhere you like. Um, but I like this concept because I'm a big fan of teaching you to fish versus giving you a fish. And if you hand over, you know, everything to a, a professional producer, that's great if you've got the money to do that because they will do a fantastic job of, of putting it together. But you're not really learning the process yourself. And so one of the things that we can add to this whole process is I can show you how to put the music and sound effects on it so that it does sound more like a real demo versus a DIY, which a lot of people, when they do a DIY demo, they just kind of do just their voice or maybe they can add some music here and there. But um, anyway, it's, it's just a really economical yet professional sounding demo that you can then go off and, and do your marketing with. Um, and then hopefully, if the demo is, is, you know, what we're aiming for, then you can put video to it. And what's great about that is that we've already got the footage from those YouTube clips because we found the scripts on YouTube. So we find the footage or we get the footage, sync it up to your demo that we've just completed to where then it, it actually looks and sounds, like I said, like a real, like the real thing. Um, so I've got a few here that we can play uh, to kind of show you uh, some of the ones that we've done and uh, go from there. So let me go ahead and pull up these videos. And I want to make sure if you guys, uh, Bill, can you let me know if you can hear these okay? Hopefully you can. Yeah, I'm sure will. I think I've got these set up correctly so that you can not only see but hear. Uh, this first one is from Randy Scott. He's a member of the group. Uh, we worked on this, I don't know, I think maybe about a year, year and a half ago. And uh, so we also put video to this one too. So you'll see how these scripts, you know, th these were scripts that we found on YouTube, but we just kind of made them his own. So here we go on this first one here. At Mac Weldon, our basics are built for your comfort. And it all starts with the fabrics. Fabrics engineered with cutting edge technologies. They're not just softer to the touch, but also breathable, moisture wicking, odor fighting, to keep you moving or not moving. Ashley Home Store's end of the season sale is happening now. For a limited time, save 30% on styles store wide. Or buy now and pay later with 72 months no interest financing. When the world starts spinning again, let's remember this time where none of us felt secure and fight for a future where everyone can. Because when the world feels like it's standing still, that's the perfect time for us to change it. Hexbug BattleBots are back. You can dominate the BattleBots with Minotaur's Drum Spinner versus Beta's Pulverizing Hammer. Now, with four channel remotes, you can fight all four BattleBots at once. Bring the battle home. Hexbug BattleBots, each sold separately. For those who rise before the sun, who are fueled by black coffee, and aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. For those who need a truck as tough as they are, we are here for you. The only dealer that treats you like family. All right, so- Mike, let me just say real quick, that looks and sounds great. Thanks. That's, yeah. yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, um, I you know, I, I was super proud of Randy on this. Um, and uh, as, you, as you could hear there, and was there any kind of lag in the video sometimes through the not uh, that I could detect. Okay, good, good. Because sometimes there's a little bit of a jumping. A, a little bit on my side, Mike. This is Fred. So the uh, other thing I have a question for you that I have right off the bat is, do, you took the, it's the exact same words in the voiceover and the exact same image, images at the exact same time, correct? Yes, but but here's the thing. We focus on the audio first. So we make sure some some commercials have lots of air in them you know space between some of the lines right and so we don't we can't really afford that in a demo you, you can't have 10 seconds of music in between the lines so we focus on the audio first and if we have to tighten up some of the phrasing we do and then we make sure we match the video to that perfect 
Got so it. we're not trying to time it to the video. We're trying to time the video to the audio. That makes sense. I understood. Perfect. Completely. No. Um, but as you can hear in that thing, we've got, you know, the high, high energy one, you know, Ashley home store, right? We've got the, the rugged one there at the end, um, which was, I think was a, a, a dealership, like a truck dealership. We had the COVID related spot, you know, warm, sincere, uh, guy next door, Mac Weldon, right? So we cover all the bases or most of them anyway, uh, in that, in that demo and then put the music and sound effects. And as you noticed in there, the sound effects really are what make these really stand out as as real sounding commercials. Um, because if you watch a real commercial on TV or wherever, most of them do have those sound effects. And those sound effects are what really kind of take it up a notch and kind of add that all important third layer of authenticity to the to the It's spot. almost subconscious. It's like if it's there, you don't notice it because it's supposed to be there, but if it's not there, you notice it. Totally. It's totally yeah, so it makes a big difference. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Uh, this is Will Vincent. He is in the, um, uh, I don't think he's currently in the blueprint. He was before, but uh, here's his. So we'll go with his right here. How can you make McDonald's hot and juicy quarter pounder even more delicious? One word, bacon. Ooh. The new quarter pounder bacon or deluxe. Two new ways to leave you speechless at any size soft drink for just $1. If your child needs help, there's a Children's Miracle Network Hospital nearby. Join Costco and support your Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Hospitals helping local kids. It doesn't look like your average zero-turn mower. Because it isn't. Step up to the all-new Ultima Series from Cub Cadet. Instant Pot presents six-minute homemade mac and cheese. Step one, add stuff. Step two, do stuff. Step three, eat stuff. The LCT 440 Pure. The name says it all. Just focus on what you love. Lewitt. From the brand with more top safety awards than Honda, Toyota, or Nissan. Feeling safe, it's better in a Hyundai Tucson. You don't have to like everything Cheryl likes. Put A1 on whatever you want. A1 for almost everything. Almost. All right, and that's Will's. So once again, try to cover all the bases as far as styles go, um, and then add the video to it, and it's good to go. By the way, I love how his logo yeah, was on yeah. there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's another thing that that, that I've been doing lately uh, on the video demos is instead of having kind of an intro and outro card, I have uh, you know the contact details running throughout the entire video because. A lot of people will, um, you know, people have short attention spans. They want to get to the good stuff, right? So we don't want to spend a couple of three seconds at the beginning. You know, we want to get right to the real thing. And so we just leave the uh, leave the the logo and, and contact details throughout the whole video. Yeah, that's smart. I got a question on that. I got a question on that. So are you going to run into any problems with Fiverr saying that that's violating their terms of service because they may come directly to you? We do two versions. We do a version for Fiverr that has no contact info on it or, or logos. Well, if it's a logo, that's fine. But contact details are definitely a no-no on there. So we do two versions of the video. Um, and the reason, another reason why we have to um, do multiple video uh, versions of it is because if the demo is longer than a minute 15, then the video won't work on Fiverr because their limit is a minute 15. And so we do, let's say the demo is a narration demo and it's like a minute 30, a minute 45, then we wanna make sure we do a, a shorter version for Fiverr because it's gonna to have to fit. Um, and we also have to do a compressed size because they only allow 50 megabyte file size. So anytime I do a video demo, I do one, if they're, if they're gonna use it on Fiverr, I do a real full version, full length version, and then one that's for Fiverr. Um, so now I've also, you know, commercial demos are the, are not the only kind we do, right? So I've got one down here that I did, um, with, uh, Becky, she did a narration demo. Uh, she's in the group and, uh, so I'll play this one as well. This one's a little longer. Um, but, uh, it's, you know, you can go a little longer on a narration demo because it's longer form 
content. So we'll go with this one too. Okay, let's get started by talking about ethics in general. What is ethics? If you're like most people, you don't really spend much time thinking about the philosophy of it. But once in a while, it's actually a critical exercise that you need to go through in order to clarify your values and principles, especially with regard to the workplace. Ah, take cover. It's a hurricane. Or is it a tornado? How the heck do you tell the difference between all these things? Well, fear not because I have it covered for you right here. Cardiac emergencies can happen anywhere. Be prepared with a simple technique known as hands-only CPR. You can learn it in minutes. It's easy to remember and it can help save a life. You will need the willingness to act and a few simple skills. In this course, you'll identify strategies to strengthen the financial success of subgrantees and the program while complying with federal and state regulations. If you'd like information on how to navigate this course, select the navigation tutorial button. Otherwise, select the forward arrow to begin. With a fire at its heart, Yellowstone is our first national park, a primal fortress that saved the disappearing West. More than three million visitors a year come to Marvel, but only a handful venture past the lookouts. All right, so that's a narration demo from Becky. And um, just to let you know, you got a little bit of crackling in the audio somewhere there. I don't know if it was from something on your side or what it was. Bill, did you hear that? I no, I didn't on my end. I oh, had it okay. either. Okay. So, um, so anyway, you know, obviously the the narration demos are a bit longer, um, and they're a bit more. Um, the the differences between them are a bit more nuanced, right? You don't have big swings between high energy and warm, sincere, and all that, um, which is why we do the different styles in there, which are things like kids learning, you know, the tornado one, uh, medical um, documentary like this National Geographic, e-learning, and then corporate. Uh, we put those in there and um, we get all of those on YouTube except for e-learning. Now, it, the reason why we don't get e-learning on there is because most e-learning is, you know, proprietary, you know, internal only information. So they don't just go put those on YouTube. So I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of e-learning scripts because that's what I do most of. And so I usually just use one of those and then we just change the names to protect the innocent. Um, and then what you do for the visuals on that is you just do like a PowerPoint slide for the visuals because that's what most e-learning interfaces are like anyway. There's not a lot of video, it's more just like static. Here's some bullets about what you're gonna learn. Here's a start button or a next button. And we put the video together that way. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, narration demo. Mike, I think it's really important to point out how good these, the speaking visuals, the visuals are here because to the, uh, you know, the observer like, like me, who wasn't behind the curtains watching you do all the work, I would just think this literally was the, the actual project or the actual commercial. I wouldn't know the difference. I think it's important because I've seen people who don't have the proper video editing skills try to do it. And you can, you can, you can tell just yeah. because of the lack of experience. So um, yeah, kudos on this because it's really, it's seamless. And you would think that literally they did these projects. Yeah, and another, and that's a really good point, Bill, because one of the things that we look for when we go out and we find the the footage to begin with, or we find the, the scripts, is we're looking for not only good sounding scripts, but good video footage too, you know, good quality video footage. So we don't actually go out and get um, 12 year old footage of some commercial for McDonald's, right? We wanna make sure we get something new, current, good crisp quality video and you know something that's not going to look kind of grainy and and old right um so there's a lot that goes into that too you know we spend a good probably hour of that first session just going on youtube and looking for all kinds of different stuff and trying to find good quality footage and good quality scripts uh, I've got one more here to play, and this is another commercial uh, that was from Rita Segura. She's, I think she's still in the blueprint, or at least she's still in the in the group. 
Um, so I'll play this one for you. Pirates, cook and eat with a clever microwave safe lid. Make it now and enjoy it later. We make short-term investments, long-term investments. We diversify our interests, realize our gains and losses, and try to keep the big picture in mind. You don't need to become an investor. You were born one, Robin Hood. Let's do those things that can't be done, like less fuel in from more miles out, and impossible made possible. Have you ever noticed how much brighter the sun shines after a storm? Maybe that's just nature's way of making us do what we need. Demo a Wilson, Babolat, or Head Racket at Tennis Express and get $20 off the purchase. Control the court like a champ with Federer's Wilson Pro Staff. Overwhelm your opponent swinging Serena's Wilson Blade. Introducing the new Over the Water Villains. Far from ordinary and now far closer than you ever imagined. Call 1-800-SANDALS. All right. So that's Rita's. So, um, you know, my goal in doing these demos is to have them be as good as any professional produced demo out there. Um, but what's great about these is all of the audio editing is done by them, is done by the, the talent on this, the music, the sound effects. I show them how to do it, but then they actually go in and do it. So, you know, we kind of share the burden a little bit. You know, I, I provide the guidance and the coaching of the performance and you know, help with the script selection and the choosing which spots to put where and all that. But they you know, actually do. Let me just app. add that the beauty of that is that you similar in a way to your DIY demo, which we always recommend that you're redoing every week. You could probably redo this every quarter, right? Sure. Or it, I mean, as really as as much as you needed to or wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's really the flexible bill. Your thoughts on that? Yeah. Yeah. And also, let me just add to that. The fact that you're learning how to edit audio, you know, with people are always asking about Fiverr and expanding their gigs and doing more stuff, but learning, they're learning actually a new skill set in addition to all of that, being able to update stuff on your own, which is great. You can even update your own video once you learn how to do that. But the fact that you can offer that as a service yeah, is kind of almost like double dipping. Now, you know, you just added a whole new revenue stream, which is very cool. Exactly. Because a lot of the jobs out there, I don't care if you're on Fiverr or wherever, you know, maybe it's a, a podcast intro where they want to add music to it, right? And so now you've got that skill that you can actually charge for that. Um, and uh, yeah, it just builds your, your you know, quiver of arrows of things that you can actually offer uh, for it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, doing things, well, doing things right, number one, but also you know, with as little hurdles as possible. And and this is kind of why I've developed this little concept here to kind of take people through those steps uh, pretty easily. You know, the big gap that exists is, and it always, it bothers me because I wish it was easier for people to bridge that gap. And that is between your, your first getting started and money's usually pretty tight for most people. Um, and you're not ready to invest that kind of money in a pro demo yet, the more produced demo, we'll call it produced demo, which is really what you're talking about, is going to open up more opportunities. It just does. Like it or not, it just does. Uh, when you have the full complement of music and sound effects and good video, it's just people are going to be more attracted to it. You're staging yourself in a, at a higher degree or a higher level, and it's going to open up more opportunities. And I always, I feel for those people who are really, they're grinding it out, try, you know, and, and God bless them, you know, you can do that successfully. It just takes, it takes a while out to, to make the money to get to that point. But what you're offering is really the bridge between that gap where yeah. they're working under the direction of a pro like you to do, I mean, what you've shown tonight is some really good work. Thanks. And uh, I mean, it's not just, like I said, it's a lot of them too. I mean, we would definitely work hard sure. on on the performance side of things before we even start doing the recording stuff. Um, and I don't know if you remember this, Bill, but a couple of weeks ago, uh, Nate Kouster, uh, who is in the group, posted that the demo that he and I worked on was the the thing that kind of put him over the, you know, over the mark 
on getting his very first big e-learning client that is paying full GVAA rates. Um, and he, he, he um, you know, said that my demo work with him was the thing that actually got him there. And so, you know, before he was just working on a DIY and nothing against the DIYs, like you said, I mean, you know, that gets you, that gets you to the table, right? But, and, and when you have a DIY, you're working on the platforms like Fiverr and Upwork, and that's, that's a good way to get in the door. But once you get a demo like this, a professionally, you know, look, looking and sounding demo, then kind of the shackles are off. Then you can go out and you can start doing your direct marketing to production houses and everything else. It opens up a whole new world of, you know, jobs that you can, that you can get. So when it looks like, smells like, tastes like a pro demo, people will treat you differently. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And, right. and my question for both of you is, uh, well, for you, Mike, is how many hours of time do you spend together with someone to help them put all this together? It's about five hours. Um, so what we do, and it's not all, all together, obviously, but the first session is the script selection. The next two sessions are uh, performance, where we work them, we work those scripts over and over again and really you know, tighten them up. The fourth session is the recording session. The fifth session is the snippets section. Uh, session where we we use all the fully produced ones that they've put together and we pick the you know 10 to 15 seconds each of each one and put them in the right order so that we've got a solid demo that's about a minute to a minute 15 in length perfect Excellent. yeah and all this all they're all done via, via zoom uh they're about an hour a piece you know give or take depending on what we're doing that day um, and they're recorded too, because I like to make sure that, that they've got homework and that they go back and watch the video afterwards, especially on the performance videos so that they can, you know, use that as ongoing refresher material. Um, uh, another thing that if they don't really know how to do the music and sound effects piece, we can add on a session for things like, uh, you know, using multi-track and I show you where to go find royalty-free music and sound effects to put in there, uh, we can add that on as well. So um, yeah, uh, you know, five or six sessions would be what you would get for one of these. Well, if I'm sitting there thinking, okay, this looks really attractive to me. I'm really ready to step up my game. I'm not ready to put out two, three, four thousand $4,000, whatever for a demo, yep. but hybrid demo, this, this looks like something that I might be able to manage. How would that work? What would a person do? So really, all you need to do is just reach out to me and here I'll put my contact information up here. There you go. Um, so you can hit me at any of these coordinates and I'm happy to chat and we'll see if it's a good fit. You know, I obviously want to make sure that you've got, you know, your space dialed in and your, you know, equipment and all that. We don't want to just record something in your kitchen. <laughs> you know, we want to make sure that you've got the that kind of stuff set up first but we'll have a discussion figure out kind of which direction we want to go do we want to do a narration do we want to do a commercial do we want to do both uh, a lot of people do both because between narration and commercial those are kind of the two biggest pieces of the vo pie as far as work out there right um yeah there's things like ivr and and you know character work and video games and all that kind of stuff but as far as the actual volume of work that's out there, they're going to fall either in that narration category, which is like e-learning and explainer and corporate, or the commercial side. We know what those are. So some people will just start with both of those to just get that really solid foundation so that you can then go out and just start doing your direct marketing. Stay on the platforms. That's totally fine. But now that you've got the demos, you can start going out and do the real thing. Well, if anybody else is doing what you're doing, I'm not aware of it. So I think this, uh, you know, and I'm not saying they're not, I'm, again, but I know a lot, I know a lot of what's going on. I know some of what's going on anyhow, and yeah. I don't know anybody else is doing this. So what a great opportunity. Yeah, I've not seen this um, being offered anywhere. And it's really just kind of came out of necessity because like you said, there's a lot of people who who are kind of stuck. They're like at that, at that level of like, you know, they're playing, I don't want to, well, kind of playing small 
for lack of a better word, you know, yeah. on just the platforms and, and they don't know or maybe don't have the funds yet to kind of take that next big leap. And this kind of gets them there without having to shell out, you know, big fat money, you know, to be able to, you know, I mean, cause if you get two demos done, you know, produced professionally, I mean, you're going to be five grand or more to do that. And, you know, mine is about half that. Well, contact Mike, get scheduled to do it. Um, Mike, I would say, my guess is if people like were to rush you right away, they're going to get backed up on time. You know, I don't, I don't know what your schedule's like, but I know that you're a busy guy. So I would yeah. say the sooner they can get to you, the better. Otherwise, they might get backed up in line. Um, yeah, I try to, I try to book. You know, I don't have, I don't want to have too many a day because I still have my regular recording that I do. So right. I usually right. do one session, or one coaching session a day. And of course, if you know, you do the math. You know, one session a day times. Uh, you know, however many weeks this takes, you know, it would be a five week ish process, you know, if we're doing if we're meeting a week apart. Um, so that's kind of how quickly that you could have this give or take. So get started now, you'd be ready to rock and roll by the time uh, late spring, early summer rolls around. Right. Awesome. Well, Mike, thanks for taking the time to, to share this. Uh, and I think it's just, it, you know, it's a brilliant strategy for getting something that looks great sounds great and will obviously open you up to more and better work at a higher paying level so yes. thanks again my pleasure thank you guys